when you go through that, it makes everything else seem heavier. And it's so weird that I lost my mom at 16, and I see people who lost their jobs, who lost their moms now, and I still get fucking emotional when they tell me that they lost their moms. It still bothers me to an extent that, Jesus Christ, that happened to me so long ago, and I still feel so much pain. How can you not? And I, mean, I can't imagine to go over again what I went through those first three years. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, you know. And I can't. And, 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 and it takes its toll at every age. Don't get me wrong. It hurts at every age. Losing a mother hurts at every age. There's people talking about losing a, uh, listen, losing a fucking father at any age hurts. I shouldn't just focus on the mothers. Losing I mean, friends, losing anybody. Losing a friend, you know, it affected me. Ralphie May's death has affected me till this day, guys. Like when I was a kid, Anthony Balzano's death affected me. And then my mother's death affected me. My father's death affected me. My uh, uh, Dominic Special's death affected me for a while. That, that, that destroyed me at that age. And then I lived a few years and you meet more people, you lose lose along the way and then you know i lost marilyn that was devastating that was 11 years ago and then ralphie made me make a change when somebody's death makes you get up and go oh i fucking get this now that's and every death i've done that i've learned from somebody's death when richard jenny shot himself god rest his soul when Mitch Hedberg died, God rest his soul, they were all different circumstances. But a part of me felt some things. I had to change something. On some situations, I didn't. You know, with Marilyn, it made me take a colonoscopy more often and make, that thing, make them put a finger up my ass more often from time to time. But with 